2023. This is an area I got a call from a guy. He says um, his AC is not working. Uh, ever since the guy put a sub pump in this basement, his AC won't work. So that should nothing to do with the AC because that's a, um, that's a 110 circuit, you know, for the basement. But that's what he said. I said it might be a coincidence. Well, we're gonna go over there and uh, see. He says I've been here before working on the unit or did something. Find out what's ailing this thing and see if we can fix it. Try to get you some shots. All right, but the the thing there's no there's no no lights here. Yeah. We got lights. Oh. There we go. Sounds that bright, but. So the thermostat's completely out. I don't know. Not a fan runs. Probably needs batteries. Well, where's the battery? Right here. Let's change the batteries first. You got batteries or you want me to get some out of the or truck? The pen light? The double A. Trip uh the, the, the triple A's. Two triple, triple A's. A's. Yeah, yeah. I guess that could be what your problem is right there, guy. Really? Yeah. Well oh, you got a flipping Cadillac here, huh? This this uh this stroller. Oh, that's Holy Cadillac. shit, huh? That's like the Cadillac. Was that a Mercedes? That's a Mercedes. Two. How many? Two? Two batteries? Yeah. Does that thing give you back rubs too or what? What? Does that thing give you back rubs? <laughs> no? <laughs> yeah, at least it was cool out today. Uh, over the weekend. Yeah. I think last time I was here, I might have put a little charge to that thing, wasn't it? Didn't I give it some gas last time yeah, I was you here? Did. You did. Probably needs another douche. Well, it runs beautiful. Does it? Yeah. All right, so let's see. No, yeah, see, now, fun. now, now we got, see it's reading now? Oh, yeah. This one doesn't have a common, so you need to change the batteries probably every year. Let me show you how to change it now. Yeah. This one don't have a common. Yeah, this one doesn't, this one has a slot for a common, but there's no common here. So the batteries, so you hook on the top. Yeah. See this, there's pins here. See these pins? See these pins on the bottom? Yeah. yeah. They have to go inside these holes, so you have to do it properly. It wants to get hooked on the top, like that. You got to make sure you hook it on properly, and then click it in. See it? Yeah. Oh. Now, let's see if it works. Put on cooling. We'll put on automatic. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's not that, so we'll see. We'll try it, okay? Okay. You said the fan works, right? Down cellar? Yeah, yeah well, I just I just heard it kick on, so let's go. It's probably on a delay. Let's go check it outside. Let's try it by the fireplace. Yeah, I remember. It's a Goodman. Little, yeah, right. little Goodman. Right. Yeah. Huh? She's alive! Huh? It's running. Needed batteries. That's what it was. Yeah, it wasn't the guy with the sub pump. Well, let's let's let it run for a bit. Make sure it's get this. Make sure it gets warm and that pipe gets cold. And make sure it doesn't need to charge. Yeah. Hasn't been icing up or nothing. It's been running okay. Oh yeah, right. You haven't had no no problem with the icing. It's been cooling fine. No. Nope. Okay. Oh, I good. think last time I was here, I might have put. Did I put gas in it or not? Yes, you did. I did. You pulled it up. Give it a minute, okay? I mean, while I'm here. Oh yeah, she's getting cold. Give it a minute. You ever hit this with a garden hose? No. Huh? You never hit the outside with a garden hose. We did last time, but okay. I haven't done it yet. You haven't done it yet. It looks pretty clean. be a little low on gas. You want me to check it? I mean, while I'm here. No, oh, okay. Alright, oh, see our superheat there at 20, 21. Let's see what it should be. Yeah. We're at 21 there. We're going to check it. We're going to check and see what it should be. Let's 
Alright, so 62 on a wet bulb. And then the outside temperature, we'll say 62. The outside temperature 70. 62 on a wet bulb. Outside temperature 70. Should be 19 on the superheat or 20. Right there. Or right where we need to be on the on the on the uh, the charge. Subcooling's a little high. Suction's a little bit low, that's because no returns. So we're going to leave it right there. See that? Target super heats 20. We're fine. 19. Alright. Perfect. Right there. Put a little bit of leakage on it. Put a nice cap on there. Be done with it. See how it's getting nice and sweaty? Some of these JB caps, they got a nice, nice rubber on there and crank them in and that won't leak. So what do you want to set at? 70? 72? 72. 72. Oh, 72. All right. So if you have to change the batteries, right? Yeah. You want to grab it from the bottom like this. Yeah. Okay? And just pick it up. It hooks in the top yeah, there because there's pins there. See them pins? See them pins in the back of the thermostat? On here? Those. Those have to go inside these, these slots. Oh, okay. So when you put it in... You have to hook it on the top like that. See how I got it hooked in? Yep, yep. And then push it in. Mm -hmm. Now you can't jam it. If it's not set right, you're gonna bend them pins mm -hmm. and then you're screwed. Yeah. Because those little pins, they're very wimpy. So it lifts up off the bottom. Every when this goes dead, like yours was, that you need new batteries. Okay. So if you do it like every once a year. Automatic Yeah, it'll be fine. Alright. You know, well when this when this no longer is reading, you know it's time for batteries. Right. That's what your issue was. Right. We, we, we used Gallipo because we've used them for 50 years. We had his father. And, uh, oh, Gallipo, yeah. Yeah. What's wrong with that? That's fine. It's fine. That looks good to me. I didn't know. Yep, but you're just dumping it outside. You got a check valve. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you know, I probably, I probably wouldn't have put the battery backup shit in there, but that's fine. Yeah. See now, we had a lot of rain Saturday. The only problem is that see all this, see all these wires in here. Yeah. They might get um, they might get fetched up on that. If it was me, I would probably tie all these wires up somewhere. See all these wires. Yeah. yeah. You don't want all that shit down somewhere where you could get it in the. It was right around the float there. See these wires. Yeah. These wires up here. Well, get them the hell out of there. Now, was that normal for dirt to be going in there like that? Yeah, because what's happening is, 
as this thing runs, it's gonna pull. It's gonna pull dirt in because this thing is in the dirt. Right. So he dug this. This is a nice job he did. Yeah. He did a nice job. Another thing is, see this right here. Yeah. See this thing. Yeah. You gotta make sure it don't get in 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 where this where this fill thing is because if it does, it's not gonna work. See, you know what I'm saying? This is this is like a backup, right? Yeah. Well, I, we put it in the hole because this hole was filling too. All right. Well, I'm saying you don't want that in there because that goes that goes in the hole and then this hose goes outside somewhere. Yeah. So you had it backwards. That's like a backup, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's good to have as a backup. I would unplug that, put that over there. And if for some reason, if this don't work, you could plug that in, yeah. right? What I want and to put explain, a hose on it to pump it out. What I want to explain out. to you is the yeah, water was all coming up through here. It was? And going into there. So we threw this pump in there to try to... Well, what yeah. might what might have happened was maybe he didn't maybe he didn't drill enough holes in this thing. When was this? Recently? Yeah, Saturday night. Saturday night it was coming like crazy. All right, you gotta call him back then. Yeah, I called him. What did yeah. he say? He didn't answer us. Well, you gotta call him again because yeah. he just put this in. Yeah. What well, was it? Was there dirt under here where we dug it in, or was it conk? See, what might be what might be the issue is there has to be. See this stone? Yeah. There has to be stone. Under this floor. Is there four inches of stone under this whole floor? Or is this right on the dirt? Right on the dirt. Well, it ain't going to work then. No. Because there has to be crushed stone under this under this slab. Or the water, won't, or the water won't run under the slab. Okay. The only, re the only way the water is going to run under the slab is if there's crushed stone. Right. And then the water has got a place to run. Then this pit will work. If this... If this concrete is right on the dirt and there's no crushed stone, no matter what you do, it's not going to work. I don't know if there's any crushed stone. Okay. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. The water will flow with the crushed stone. With the crushed stone, the water will, will seek its own level. This being lower, the water will come here. But if you got no stone, no matter what you do, uh, you're just wasting your money. Yeah. That's probably the case. Yeah. Right? If it's yeah. coming up here. Yeah, it's all shooting out through the side. He should have known better, the guy putting it in. Th that makes sense, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because oh, if, if you got stone... No, if not, we'll give you if you I don't got, know if there's any stone underneath. Yeah, if you got four inches of stone under the slab, the water runs in that stone and equals its own level. Uh, years ago, sometimes they didn't put stone. They just had a flat surface. They just poured the concrete because they want to save money. They didn't want to put stone down. That's probably what they did. Huh. They, you know, they made a nice flat, but it's just right on. The, there's no way for the water to, to, to go but well, up through the dirt. That other hole, there's a pipe that goes out to the street. Right. How come the water, when that fills up, the other hole, how come the water don't go to the street? It should. It might have a blockage. There's a check valve in there. There's a check valve in there. In the small hole. Yeah, and then that's tied into the sewage. That's that's tied into the, the storm drains. That when that fills up, the water goes down there and into the sewer. The only problem with that is if the storm drains ever back up, you could flood your house. Yeah, but there's a blockage. Can you just look in the... I don't, I'm, not into, I'm not into the drain pie. You gotta call a drain guy for that. I don't, ha I don't have the equipment. I don't have the, I don't have the power tools to snake it. See, see the pipe? Yeah. Oh yeah, what a flipping... You got weights down in there and everything. Yeah, they fell in there. Does, that, does that thing fill up with water? Or no. Yeah, that's the reason we had this put in. Because this fills up with water? All the yeah. time. That's the reason that we he put that in, because this fills up. I can give you a guy's name. you got to do is you got to open this up, and he's going to have to snake this. All right. I can give you a guy's name and number, okay. Quick Flow Drain Service. All right. He's got all the main equipment. Okay. I don't have all that. i got the stuff right. to do, like little laterals. Okay. He could pull this apart, and he could snake this and get this cleared for you. Then okay. this will work. See, maybe we may you know, not have even needed that. You don't probably need. You probably didn't need this no. if this was working. No. Let me give one, it. Yeah, there's another. There's it. another drain there. See it? These yeah. there two. Let me give you the guy's name to call for that. All okay. Right. Yeah, that's good. Let me write it down. Quick flow drain service in Dartmouth. He's the best guy for that. He's Elena. Well, like I just left that job. They paid twenty eight hundred dollars to have that sub pump put in. 
and it don't even work because there's no crushed stone between the concrete and, and the dirt ground. There's no crushed stone, so it ain't gonna work. So I gave her a guy's name and number that does just drains. And there's a check valve in the back of that thing, and the, she they can snake that drain going out to the sewer, and then they won't need that. It'll, everything will drain out there like it was before. That's backed up. So I gave her a buddy of mine that does just drains. He's got all the equipment and all the cameras, and I don't do main drains. I don't want nothing to do with them. I don't have the equipment in my truck, and I don't I don't want to do them. So he'll straighten that out for, but. The, the moral of the story is 2800 bucks wasted. She called the other guy back, he won't return her call. The guy just put that sub pump in. Wasn't even needed. I mean, as a backup, it's a good thing. Uh, I guess I wouldn't hurt have it as a backup. In case the sewer starts backing up, that that might... I don't, I don't think it'll, it'll keep up with the sewer if it backs up, but it will pump the water out. So he gets a couple of floating eels in there and block everything up. A couple of live eels, Molly. Oh yeah, you love my live eels, Molly. You love live eels. You love li you love live eels, Miss Molly. On the AC part, um, just needed batteries. I showed him how to do that. I did check the charge. I put a couple of JB caps. It was kind of a little, little dribbling out the. Uh, Straight accord here on, on the suction line. I just put them JP caps on and crank them down, it'll be fine. Well, a satisfied customer, mama.